A new battle is looming for lawmakers in Albany. New York is the only major state to ban so-called ultimate fighting and mixed martial arts events. But now Governor Patterson says it's time to smack down the ban to help fight a tide of red ink in the budget. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story. It's practice today. But next weekend, the punches and kicks will be for real. Westchester County mixed martial artist Jason Ward will travel to Massachusetts to compete in a sold-out reality fighting event that will be illegal in New York. New York is the only major state that still bans ultimate fighting and mixed martial arts events. The events were banned back in 1997 when ultimate fighting was in its infancy and often called human cockfighting. Then Governor Pataki called the sport barbaric when he signed the ban. But fans say ultimate fighting has changed from a freak show to a legitimate sport with drug testing and other safeguards. I watched the earlier versions. There were no gloves. There were kind of no rules. Um, it's cleaned up. Now Governor Patterson hopes New York can clean up, collect millions of dollars in sales tax revenue by lifting the ban on ultimate fighting style events in New York. By one estimate, a single ultimate fighting match at MSG would generate almost $12 million in related economic activity. Opponents are not impressed. Having two men pulverize themselves to death in order to pay our taxes or our budget deficit seems to me to be a rather ridiculous thing. But supporters ask why ban a sport that's allowed in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Well, the desire is there. People want to see it. They love it. They want to be there. So I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't offer to them at this point. The governor wants legislators to grapple with the issue and hopes they lift the ban. In Bedford Hills, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And the bill to lift the ban cleared an important assembly committee last year, but never made it to the floor for a full vote.